And now, turning points. Some people would struggle to even get out of bed at the end of a marriage, but we're going to introduce you to a woman who did so much more than that. She decided to fix one of the most painful problems in the world, how to give the world 16 million orphaned and abandoned children a healthy childhood. Oops, not so Here I was, living this incredibly privileged life. It was 2003. Karen Gordon's marriage had just ended and she had two beautiful daughters to take care of. But something amazed her at a parenting class, a video like this one. From a world famous orphanage in Hungary, known for its quality care. It inspired her to look deeper into the issue. And what she learned is that many orphanages around the world may have basic necessities, but they also have a glaring deficit, simple one-on-one -on -one loving care. It was just so clear to me that this was exactly what I was supposed to be doing. Karen found a new mission, to make a difference in the lives of abandoned babies around the world. She plunked down her million-dollar divorce settlement and started a foundation, Whole Child International. I visited well over 50 orphanages in 12 different countries on four different continents. Take a look at this film. We see an orphanage baby having its diaper changed like an assembly line. That child is pulling his arms in. There's no interaction happening. There's no eye contact. And as far as we're concerned, those are ultimately just wasted moments. That, she says, is the key, that the caregivers need to be trained to talk more to the babies, be involved with even the mundane routines like changing their diaper. Now look at this video. The caregiver lets the little girl choose what shirt to wear. Note the involvement and interaction. If we can shift this one piece of relationship for these particular children, the change in their development and the change in their long-term outcomes could be staggering. Experts agree that caregivers can be trained to interact better. It's the individual interactions with the children that are literally laying down the pathways for their brains to develop. It's probably one of the most important investments we can possibly make. Better care and overall better development leads to better outcomes and a better world. Oh, you know, it's amazing. We're joined now by Karen Gordon, the founder of Whole Child International. You know, as a parent, you know those little moments can mean so much. And they often can. they are neglected. Great thing to seize upon. Obviously, an interesting headline in this story where you're concerned is that you put up a million dollars of your own money to get involved with this. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a big history with doing this type of thing. Mm -hmm. Why? Why make such a personal sacrifice? Well, I did put up a large amount of money to get the thing going. I felt that somebody needed to grab onto this and move it in a certain direction. But I am part of a big team of people that are very dedicated to making this happen. We've got Diane Harkins from University of California, Davis, who has been running back and forth to Central America making herself crazy. We've got um, our partners at the University of Pittsburgh who've been incredibly dedicated and a big team at Whole Child who are working very, very hard to help make the lives of these children a lot better. And you're really focusing on something that is easily missed in an institutional setting. Yes. It's not just about the feeding, the diapering, but how that's done and what can be missed, right? Well, our feeling is that these moments are going to happen anyway. Mm -hmm. And so it's about training on two different areas, really. We want to see an improvement in terms of the interaction between the caregiver and child, which is illustrated in the video that you just saw. So that's an important piece. The other piece that we want to see happen is training the administrators of orphanages as well as the people in the government who deal with the orphanages in their country as to the importance of keeping the same caregivers with the same children. One of the big things that we work on because what we're seeing all over the world and it's rather it seems impossible to imagine, but generally speaking, children go into an institution when they're born and can come into contact with between 50 to 70 different caregivers by the time they're five years old. There's no possibility of creating a meaningful attachment, and we really know what that means in terms of the overall development of a child. Have you had the opportunity to see the change when some of these little behaviors yeah. are implemented? Well, there are two different areas that get changed when you start structurally changing the institution to keep the same caregivers with the same children and provide 
provide training. It's those two different aspects that mm -hmm. need to happen. And what we're seeing is our partners, it's important to mention also our partners at the University of Pittsburgh did mm -hmm. a large NIH funded piece of research that is proof of concept for what we're doing. They basically did the exact same things we're doing, creating the structure within which the children can have the opportunity to create a relationship and provide training to the caregivers to improve the interaction. And what they saw and what we're beginning to see in Nicaragua, where we're currently working, is children dramatically physically growing mm -hmm. head circumference, chest circumference, height, weight. Those children's diet was not changed. It's simply having the opportunity to have a re relationship. And I think the important piece, really, most people believe that when children are in an institu institutional setting, that's the best we can do. We can't give them a family setting. We mm. can't give them a relationship, but we know there are very simple, very cost-effective ways of providing these children with what they need in the institutional setting. And what you're seeing now is that it's not just about your heart telling you to do this, but your head as well. The experts, the clinicians are saying it helps. And if nothing we else... We know the research has been done. This is the good news. The research has been done. We know how to do it. And now it's just a question of resources. The more resources we have, the quicker we can get to these children. Thank you for bringing the cause to us. Thank you for being involved. Thank you for having me on, Chris. It was a pleasure. Oh, please. Thank it's you. amazing. You've seen the results already. Yes, we are. Let it's exciting. It the proof is positive.